Hello, this is Gavin Palmer with Hero Looking for Group, and I felt like sharing this. So, Andrea Lewis, um, I believe Andrea shared this in a Discord server with uh, the Paul Vanderclay Bridges of Meaning Discord server, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it because... Um, because a lot of times words and phrases are not represented the best way they can be represented. So for example, Brett Weinstein believes that people who want to defund the police are, um, are very dumb. Um, he doesn't believe that there could be a good argument for defunding the police. Um, even though he had, he's, he's kind of a hypocrite in that he wants to, he advocates for people doing a still man argument but he is not willing to allow people to do the still man argument because he just has somehow categorized the word or phrase as being uh, completely stupid, completely irredeemable. Now, he may be changing. I have uh, voiced criticism of this in his Discord server, so he may change on that. But anyways, Critical Race Theory, a beginner's guide. Pretty good. So, Liam, he, he is presenting the steel man and he's basically saying that at the core of critical race theory is that there is this um, structured let's look at it so it's based on social or institutional structures systemically favoring the dominant group so you know I don't like the word race because the image that comes to mind for a racist is a, you know, a hateful, evil, selfish group of uh, white people hanging an innocent black person in a tree and torturing and killing them. Like, that's the image of racism. But then they use this word like race and and it's, so they, they kind of watered it down to some degree. So that, that's what I don't like about critical race theory. Just right off the surface is the choice of words. But I can, with that criticism, you know, I can actually consider what, the, you know, people are talking about when they attempt to still man the idea. But yeah, this makes sense. Um, and I would, I would add something I've heard others say is that, you know, a lot of times there are, there's, well, I'll get to it. This, so um, Liam actually identifies it, and this is the key word to search for, is inheritance. So, this problem, so Liam offers two, two general solutions. One has to do with art, so, and one has to do with inheritance. But he doesn't go into his idea on how to actually solve this problem of inheritance. So, this is the, the feedback mechanism within a system. When you talk about systems, when you have systems thinking, you have to uh, look at um, feedback loops, and inheritance is a feedback loop, which creates the disparities um, but another thing is a uh, mindset and so he talks about art and he used um, some examples of art um, and where does he let's see art I think there's a, something about the moon. Moonlight is a great recent example. So, um, to interfere with the stigmatization process mentioned, I'd encourage production of art that humanizes and cultivates empathy among various people. Moonlight is a great recent example of this. We watched Moonlight. And so, that was uh, some. there was agreement on that issue, but there was no discussion about the problem of inheritance. And that's the thing I would like to talk about. Also, uh, Liam recommends this book. I've never read it. He rec recommends this uh, essay. And he recommends this essay. So I haven't read these, but I will look into them. Well, I should look into them. I've, I'm actually more interested in uh, the goal uh, reading the goal and lean product management because I, I'm interested in um, trying to be a leader. And I imagine that I'll, 
if people have things to say in these essays and books that make sense, that I can just learn about them from people who have read these books. And so, for example, Liam, I can just learn about these ideas from Liam because he's able to, if he, you know, he seems intelligent and it seems like he can condense um, these writings into, you know, useful nuggets of, of wisdom and knowledge for people who are interested in other things. Um, but yeah, these are the writings that have shaped his idea, his ideology. So the question is, well, how do you solve this problem of inheritance? And the way that you do this, in my mind, is decentralization. This is like the answer to all problems, um, or at least it's is part of the answer to all problems, is decentralization and freedom. So you need to allow, uh, facilitate laboratories where people can experiment with different um, ways of doing government. That's the way you do it. So it's libertarian ideology that has to be coupled with um, the as coupled with the solution to the problem. So you know, in order to solve a problem, you you have hypothesis, right? And you can design experiments, and then you can analyze the results and make discoveries. And so ultimately you need to have the freedom to, to do this. And so when you have large federal governments, like let's, some people are advocating for global government, when you have these global governments that are trying to create roles that apply to everybody to solve a problem like this, if you mess up, um, you, can <laughs> you can create a hell on earth. And so it's better to, so for example, I have an idea for a space elevator, right? And in my idea for the space elevator, I, I have uh, recently done some math and I use the nuclear, largest nuclear power plant in the United States, but you're not, you don't want to use the largest nuclear power plant in the United States just without running any test. So ideally I would actually create a smaller version of the experiment that has less risk and it require and it has less cost that's what needs to happen and the way you do that is through a libertarian approach to government and so that's the part i'm curious if um i suspect that leah might have a similar way of thinking um i hope he does he 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 talks about being a Stoic who takes on personal responsibility for thinking critically, and that's great and necessary. Um, but when you are attempting to solve problems, it's nice to um, it's nice to have a a sense-making system, an education system, whereby people with ideas can um, participate in that uh, conversation. So that's where. You know, I think libertarian ideology needs to be upheld um, in order to uh, allow for experiments that are low cost, low risk, and that has to be a part of the conversation. Like this is the part that, <laughs> right? Uh, Andrea doesn't focus on this, and that's a problem. That's a mistake that Andrea is making. She's not focusing on the inheritance part, which is the necessary part of solving the problem of, of uh, what Liam is describing as um, social or institutional structures systematically favoring the dominant group, inheritance. So critical race theorists, Liam, might, you might even condense this if down to critical race theory, is um, thinking about the problem of inheritance. Like that would be the sentence you might be able to condense all of this down into. Um, and then, well, the ultimate question is what is the solution to the problem of inheritance? And that's, there's no conversation about solutions. This is the problem, the biggest problem with our sense-making education system is nobody is talking about solutions. If you're just talking about developing empathy for other people, um, you're not solving the problem. And they actually discuss this. Uh, they, they discuss 
kind of these um, downstream ideologies from the core of what critical race theory is. And you have to have people, I would say people like me, who are interested and skilled at solving problems. You have to invite them to the conversation in order to have progress. So um, this is a good conversation, but it could be better. And in order to have a better conversation, you have to actually identify solutions to the problem. And I would suggest that the technology or process must involve low-cost experiments with low risk that are done in parallel. Different experiments can be done in parallel by people who volunteer to participate in those various forms of government. That's what needs to happen. And in order for those experiments to be identified, you need to have a sense-making system, an education system by which ideas, good ideas, can emerge. So I'm talking about a meta-idea. I'm talking about the process and the technology by which individuals with good ideas can be identified and the signal can rise above, rise above the noise. So it's a good start. Critical race theory, I don't want to water down the word racism like so many people are doing, but um, perhaps <laughs> Perhaps this is part of a, uh, the tactics and the strategy so that you can solve the problem of inheritance, which is the kind of, um, it seems like to me, like the, at the root of critical race theory is the problem of inheritance. And many people have recognized this problem. And uh, it would be nice if everyone could be willing to solve the problem and put in the effort to solve the problem and try to solve the problem, the problem of inheritance. All right, thank you for your time. Gavin Palmer, Hero Looking for Group.